What's up, YouTube? This is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the iOS 7 lock screen and all of its features. So as you can see, as I slide to the right, everything just moves over to the right and disappears, and the applications just softly land on the springboard. So that's a really cool animation. You'll also notice when I hit the power button that the whole phone just fades on rather than just ticks on like it normally does. A couple of other cool things you can do on the lock screen is access your notification center just like that. You have all three tabs up here that you can go through if you need to and you can just swipe it up just like that. And you can access the control center as well so I mean this is really handy especially at night for me anyways when I wake up in the middle of the night and I need a flashlight so I don't even have to unlock the device anymore all I have to do is swipe up to get the control center. You also have this camera toggle here just like iOS 6. So you can see that there and you'll notice that everything bounces. So I mean that's a really nice touch, nice animation right there that everything is just bouncing. So and in my opinion it just looks better. So let's go ahead and unlock the device and we're going to go into the settings here. So when we go into the settings you can go into your notification center and you can turn on notification turn off notification views if you want to do that. So that means when I turn on my device again and I go into the notification center you're not going to see all of those tabs up there. You're only going to get today's. So let's go ahead and close that and now we're going to turn off the today's view. So what that does is completely turns off notification center. So you can't access it from the lock screen. So you can do that if you want to do that. Also you can turn off the access to the control center from the lock screen as well. So you'll see here that both of those arrows are gone and you're unable to access it from the lock screen. Now another cool thing I want to show you is the uh, passcode lock. So let's go ahead and turn that on. We'll just put in a easy code right here. And then once that's turned on, I'll show you that it does look a little different. It has a really cool keypad right here. So you just swipe over like that, put in your passcode, and then it fades in again. Now a cool thing about the passcode is that you can actually change your passcode from a simple passcode and you can change it to whatever you want. You can make it a word, you can make it a phrase, you can do anything you want and that just gives an added level of security for your device for any reason. So we can cancel out of that, but it is a nice touch definitely. So let me know what you guys think about the iOS 7 lock screen in the comments below. If you want to see more iOS 7 videos, then go ahead and subscribe. I'll be putting more up very shortly. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time. Peace. Dude, no, 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 no. Just... God, whatever. This isn't gonna work. It worked! No! Oh my gosh! Go away! Oh, I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh my god! No, 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 no! What's up, YouTube? This is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 20 city of tweaks.